Hello and welcome back to AWS with a beer. If you're thinking of studying for and taking the AWS Certified AI Practitioner or the AWS Certified Machine Learning Associate, then you need to be prepared for three brand new question types that haven't been used in any other AWS exams. But before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button for more awesome content to boost your AWS certification and learning journey. So, until now, all practitioner level and associate level certifications have only ever consisted of two types of exam questions. These being multiple choice, which will have one correct response and three incorrect responses, or as they're often referred to as distractors. And then the other question type is multiple response, which will have two or more correct responses out of five or more response options. However, this is all about to change. So with the new AI practitioner and the machine learning associate, we are going to see three more question types added to the exam in addition to the two that I just mentioned. So these three new ones are going to be ordering, matching and case study. And the intention of introducing these new question types is to help reduce the amount of time it takes to read questions and to assess critical concepts more effectively by going beyond simple recall of information Instead, you'll be required to apply your knowledge. Now, before you go into panic mode as to what you can expect, let me explain and show you each of these questions so you know exactly what to prepare for from a question format perspective, starting with ordering. So with ordering questions, you'll need to arrange a series of steps or responses into their logical sequence. You'll use a simple drop down menu of sorts to pick the right order for a list of three to six items to tackle a given task. And the amount of responses will vary. Sometimes you'll need to use every response option available. Other times just to select few will do the trick. The questions instructions will explain how many responses that you need to choose and arrange. Now the correct response is in the perfect order and you'll score full credit for the question. Now, with these ordering questions, you're going to need to have real world knowledge, more so than if you were confronted with a multiple choice question, where you can normally eliminate one or two incorrect answers. AWS has provided the following example of an ordering question in their blog post about these question changes. And I've put the link to that blog post in the description of this video, so feel free to take a look. But here you can see that you are only required to select three out of a possible six options and you must put them in the right step order. Step one, step two, and then step three. Now the next question type is a matching question. And these are like simple puzzles. You'll see a list of three to six prompts and a set of responses that you need to pair up. And you just need to use the drop down menu to pick the perfect match for each prompt. Now sometimes, each response will be used just once, but other times you'll need to get creative and use some responses multiple times or even not at all. Again, the questions instructions will tell you how often to use each response. And this question format can be used to test your knowledge of a product or service in real world scenarios. Again, taken from the blog linked in the description, AWS has provided this as an example of a matching question. Now here you would be required to pick the most suitable option from the two available storage classes for each use case, demonstrating your understanding of Amazon S3 storage tiers. So lastly, the case study question format. So case study questions let you dive deep into a single scenario and answer two or more questions about it. The best part, you won't have to read a new scenario for each question. So each question within the case study uses the same scenario. So you can focus on giving great answers. Each question is graded separately. So you'll earn credit for every correct answer. The example given by AWS of a case study question looks like this. Now, as you can see, the scenario is given at the top and there are two separate questions that relate to this same scenario. Question one is a multiple response question where you have to select two options. And question two is a multiple choice question requiring just a single selection. So they are the three new exam question types that you are going to see in the AWS AI Practitioner and the AWS Machine Learning Associate. And I'm sure if these exam question types are successful, which I believe they could be, I imagine we will be seeing these filtering into other AWS certifications very soon too.
Let me know your thoughts on these new exam questions in the comments. And until next time, cheers and good luck.